Today I want to speak to you just for a few minutes about smicha. You know, smicha is what Yehoshua ben Nun, when, when Moshe Rabbeinu, when he put his hand on him, he, he transferred the authority, the, uh, the holy authority and the ruach, the, the spirit, uh, the koach, the people would tremble now when Yehoshua ben Nun, when, when he led them into the promised land. And uh, in Bamibar, uh, chapter 27, verse 18, Hashem said to Moshe, take Yehoshua ben Nun, a man who has the Ruach, and lay your hand on him. That's where we get the word smicha. Place him before the, you know, the Kohen, um, it says here that it says not just the Kohen, but the entire community, the Adat B'nai Yisrael. And it's a public thing. It's a public commission. It is, uh, it's, it's the accountability to the people. Uh, and it says you will give him some of your Koach so, so that the entire community will obey. See, people have to fear the Lord, and they should fear and respect their leaders. And uh, and the leaders cannot preach anything they want. Sometimes I have messian so-called Messianic Jews contact me, and, and they say they, they don't want to have any do uh, doctrine. They, they don't want to have any uh, doctrine. And so because they are lawless, they want people to obey them or listen to them, but they're not listening to anybody. This is not right. Because to whom much is given, much is required. You have to study to show yourself approved. At the Global University, we have courses. This is a course on hermeneutics. And uh, people have to study. Uh, you know, my teacher, the one that uh, was the chief advisor to Billy Graham, uh, he, who endorsed my book, Everything You Need to Grow a Messianic Synagogue, he was led by the Spirit of God to start his school. Just two years before the Six-Day War, when, when Yerushalayim would no longer be trodden down by the Goyim, and that the Great Revival would begin because the fig tree of Israel would be ripening and sprouting, and, 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 and the Zemach, they would finally start to see the, you know, their, their, their Goel Redeemer from Zion. They would finally start to see him. And that's predicted in the uh, Basurus Hageola of, of Lucas. That, that particular end time phenomenon and the, the wonderful good news that the, the Goyim are starting to understand, but now the, the Jewish people are starting to also embrace, or as they always have down through these centuries, there's, there's always been Messianic Jews from the very beginning. The, the faith was Orthodox Jewish people from day one who received the mighty Ruach HaKodesh uh, Tevilah, uh, on Shavuos and turned the whole world upside down. And wherever the Shulchim went, they laid hands, they gave smicha to the Zikne B'nai y Yisrael, uh, the, the, the wonderful uh, believers that were coming from the nations that, that were uh, being grafted in. And that's why Rav Shaul and Barnabas, that's the first thing they did when they went back to the, all the communities they had established and they laid hands on the 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 elders and uh and so the thing is at our website we are uh preparing people now when i was down there uh on king's highway preaching that day and the rabbi said may i have a copy of that orthodox jewish bible and i had one in my hand i said sure i gave it to him and so then he goes over to the street corner and he starts tearing it up. Uh, who is blind like my people Israel? He started tearing it up. But that very night I got an email. To make a long story short, uh, the Lord had the Version people contact me that night and a few months later the Bible Gateway people and now it's on mobile devices. 11 million people coming to those those servers, those those computers downloading the Bible on their wireless devices, their their iPads and their 
androids and their blackberries and reading this bible and it was like the lord had a sense of humor it was like one rabbi looking at another rabbi and saying you want to you want to tear, tear up uh, the orthodox jewish bible we'll try to tear this one up this mobile version that's going all over the world 200 countries downloading it uh, 11 million people seeing it every month and so you see the lord is doing a great thing and the lord wants you to, to join him in the ministry and he's calling you and we want you to come to our website afii.org and download these things and pray about filling out an application and studying with us at the afi institute of the global university and uh, uh, download these bibles and friend the thing is when the lord called me into the ministry and he, he showed me he wanted me to preach the good news. And I went immediately out onto the street corners and started preaching. You say, well, you know, I don't want to be a crazy street preacher. Isn't there something else I can do? Well, we're not ashamed of the gospel. It is the good news. It is the power of salvation for all who believe. And we're praying that you will see that, that the good news is to the Jewish people first. This, this, is, this is why they must see that this is their gospel. You know, the gospel wasn't for the Goyim. They, they didn't receive the, the gospel in the beginning. It was strictly Jews preaching to Jews. It was only later uh, uh, that, that the Lord opened the door for the non-Jews to come in and get the, the, the bris milah of the Ruach HaKodesh in the heart. Friend, you have to see that you have a depraved heart and you need... A, a Ruach Hadashah, a Lev Hadash. You need to receive the Lord. Would you pray with me right now? Would you say these simple words that we pray in the homeless shelter every month? Just say this with me. God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Say that with me. I am a Jew, and I, and I will always be a Jew. I want to die a Jew. But if Yeshua ben Dovid is the Mashiach, if, if, if the, the scriptures, I'm talking about the Tanakh, the, the Hebrew Bible, speak about Yehoshua in the book of Numbers, chapter 27, but also another Yeshua, uh, Yehoshua, Ezra 3, 8, Zechariah 6, 11, and 12, who came back from the Golis, who was raised from the national death in Babylon, raised up alive and brought back. And then the prophet Zaharias said, Behold the man, Haish, whose name is the Tzemach. The, the namesake is given. The Mashiach's personal name will be Yehoshua or Yeshua. And, and it's right there in the Bible. And whoever calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. So today, would you pray with this with me? Just say, uh, Hashem, I'm calling on Yehoshua, the one that's in Zechariah 6, 11, and 12. I need a kapora. I thank you that he is the, the Kohen Leolam of Diverti Melchizedek who made the Korban kapora for my, for my nephesh. Thank you for his, his death for me. Mashiach, come into my heart. Take my, take my heart as your throne. I will obey you. And I will do Torah, uh, the Mashiach's Torah, uh, faithfully all the days of my life. And everybody said... Amen.